To achieve the optimal movement isolation and maximum boom range from your G-Link system, adjustments can be made to calibrate the rig to your preferred lens height. To do this, make sure the arms are horizontal and the arm posts are straight. The first high mode adjustment we can make is to raise the arm posts. The stopping levers can collide with the arm, so make sure that they have clearance. You can see there is now significantly more height than just raising the arm post. By raising the arm post, both the resting and top positions are now higher. The next option for high mode is to flip the carbon fiber ring upside down. Spin the docking stand around. You can see there is now significantly more height in the position of the camera. Now we flip the gimbal around so that we don't have to flip the sensor. If we look at the lens here, you can see this adjustment actually gives us additional centimeters in height. When the arms are straight, the gimbal height is at about chin level when it was at stomach level before. Now the top position is significantly higher for very high mode shots. Our next option for high mode is to raise the dual socket block and the retraction brackets. You loosen the socket block, slide it all the way, and tighten it down. We have about 20 centimeters more in height depending on the length of your back. With the arm straight, the gimbal height is now at about eye level. You can now get an extremely high top position as far as your arms can reach. And now for low mode, we start by moving the arm posts down to their lowest position. You'll need to leave a couple of centimeters. Arms and posts straight, you will be able to get to a much lower position now. Next, we're going to flip the retraction brackets to get even lower. The distance between the pins and the socket block is twice as low. Attach the arms at a lower position. Grab the top of the carbon fiber ring and the gimbal will reach approximately knee height at its lowest position. Next, we're going to secure the levers on the top side of the arm posts, making sure that the groove tip is on the bottom end. We flip the G-Link gimbals upside down to go into low mode. Insert the post from above using the security release. You will probably need to stand on an apple box if you don't have a low stand. Operate from above. The top position is now at about the hips. The bottom position is now a bit below the knee. The next low mode option is to flip the gimbal mount on the CF ring to hang the gimbal on the other side. Remove the gimbal, flip the rig upside down and operate from above. Make sure you insert the safety screws so that the rig won't slide off. Insert the arm post from above once again and make sure the security pins have clicked into the post grooves. So what this does is give you a higher point of contact to operate from the ring so that you can get the gimbal and the camera even lower. The whole rig has now lowered half a carbon fiber ring. You can operate as low as below your feet for super low mode shots.